Greetings fellow Earthlings, my name is Amber and today I wanted to talk about something kind of big that's going on in the vegan YouTube community right now. I can talk like a human and that is Nick Akato Avocado's videos about him not wanting to be vegan anymore. If you guys didn't know, I am vegan. I was pescatarian for nine years and I've been a vegan for a little over a year now and I personally went into veganism for health reasons. It wasn't about the animals or the treatment of them or the environment. It was strictly health based. I did watch all the documentaries like Earthlings and the stuff about factory farms and it's disgusting. Anyway, in Nick Akato Avocado's videos, he basically talks about how his body cannot thrive on a vegan diet anymore. He went raw and he said that he tried a bunch of different diets within the vegan diet. I'm not really sure what that means. I know that there's a bunch of different ones, but he never really specified which ones that he had tried. And at this point, he just feels like his mental state and his health is declining and deteriorating and the vegan diet is not helping that. So he went to a few doctors, talked to a few doctors. Um, they basically said that veganism is a good idea for a short amount of time, maybe like a year to kind of detox the body. But after that, it doesn't really provide many health benefits. And that's something that I've kind of started to see in my own life, but it hasn't gotten to the point yet where I'm thinking about eating meat again or anything like that. The other response videos that I have watched on this subject basically just bash Nick for not thinking about the factory farms and like not thinking about the different alternatives that vegans have instead of like buying meat, chicken, you can buy soy chicken, which like soy chicken is so unhealthy for you if you didn't know that already. Soy is the worst thing ever. I just, I feel so bad for Nick right now because he built his entire life around veganism. He's been vegan for like five plus years. All of his friends are vegan. He has a pretty big following on YouTube because he's vegan. So for him to come out and put a video like this out on the internet, like that was a big deal. Like a really big deal. And he could potentially lose everything. And now everyone's freaking out because his views aren't lining up with what they used to because wow, people change and people evolve and their mind goes weird places and they learn new things and I just think that Nick needs to do what's best for Nick and the rest of the public should not have a say in it because it's his body and while yeah there's vegan alternatives to certain things he said in the video that he doesn't have that much money to be taking supplements, to be supplementing five million things a day, to be buying all of this soy vegan alternative food, it's understandable. Not everyone can be vegan because of things like financial issues. And for him, it's more than just financial issues. He feels like crap all the time and no one is being supportive of this. And I think that's just plain ridiculous, especially from someone going into veganism for a health reason. If someone is staying in veganism, even when their health is declining, it doesn't make sense and I feel so bad because he's basically being pressured and bullied into this lifestyle that he doesn't want to be in anymore. And he's seen the stuff about factory farms, he's watched all, all the stuff, all the stuff, and he does feel really bad about it and he doesn't, I don't think he wants to eat meat, but he just wants to feel better. He did make a point in his video where he talks about how plants in the rainforest tend to kill each other to compete for sunlight. And at what point does philosophy and theology outweigh biology? At what point do you need to stop thinking about ethics in order to help your body survive? I don't, it, it was a really valid point. And I think all of the response videos that I watched, they didn't even touch on that. And like, it's true because these other plants, even animals kill each other so that they can survive. But humans, it's a weird line, you know? It's, it's weird. It's, 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 it's interesting. Another point that Nick had made was he talked about the adaptation of humans and how even back in our primitive years, we weren't vegan. We ate meat, we ate cooked food, like we ate grains. And two of the response videos that I had watched both stated that those primitive ancestors needed to eat those things to survive. But now we have all these options, but they forgot to think about how Nick feels physically. He feels like crap. He feels like he's gonna die. Like He feels like 
Physically, mentally, emotionally, I think he's just broken because of this diet. He's not getting enough nutrition, and these people just didn't see that. So maybe our primitive ancestors needed to eat this way to survive, but maybe Nick needs to eat that way to survive also. Because his body just isn't suited for a vegan diet. It happens! Like, okay, sure. He's tried- he's been a vegan five plus years. It's not working out. He's deficient in a lot of stuff. He feels that way. Okay. I just don't think that we as observers, I guess, of his decision should really make as big of an impact on him that we are. It, does that make sense? Is that English? I don't know. Grammar? If you want to watch these videos, I'll leave them linked down below because I think they, they're worth a watch, even though they're, they're quite on the longer side and a little bit rambly, but so am I. So I think we can all benefit from a little watch of these videos. We all need to take into consideration how this human feels because I don't know how to word this, so just bear with me. So the abuse of animals, at what point does that translate to the abuse of humans? Because people are telling him that he needs to think about the animals first before his health, basically. So, so where's the line between humanity between people and humanity between animal and people? That didn't make sense. I hope you guys get where I was going with that. <laughs> Words are hard today. That's my thoughts on it. And Nick, I am so sorry that you're in this predicament. I mean, I would do what's best for me, health-wise and emotionally, mentally, maybe taking a break from social media, I don't know, but I, I feel for you and I'm here for you and the vegan community needs to kind of chill on this one because obviously he's having a hard enough time as it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this weird ramble of a video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of my other videos, specifically vegan videos and stuff, click that one over there and click on my face over here if you'd like to subscribe to me and I will see you guys later.